Welcome to What Away with Washers, where we tried to model a washer as many ways as possible using Creo Parametric. This video focuses on revolves. To create a revolve, we really should have an embedded sketch. It makes dimensioning much easier. Always include a geometry center line when you're creating a revolve. The axis of revolution designation will help you confirm you've got the right settings. To get the full washer shape, we can create a rectangle off the side of the axis of revolution. Give it the outer diameter and the inner diameter and the overall height. And with a full 360 degree revolution, our revolve is done. The next version of revolve will be getting rid of the center piece and just making a solid revolve. Same thing, center line, rectangle. Okay. This dimension actually represents a diameter and that's why it's important to build your sketch inside of your revolve. This will make a full solid cylinder that we can then use an extrude or a revolve to remove material or a hole as will be covered in a later video. The last revolve option will take advantage of the thicken sketch option. Still use the geometry center line but this time instead of placing the rectangle we can replace it with a line. If we start with the outer diameter and the height, the thickened sketch is 0.5 and the height, oh, the point, the height was given with the sketch. We have the same geometry. This is solid. If you don't click thicken sketch before you get started, it's going to try to force you into a surface. I'll show you with the next one. We can also create a thickened sketch revolve. Using the inside diameter, it might throw us a warning but we can switch to solid and thicken sketch to make it work. The thickened sketch has three different variations, full centered on the sketch, fully inside, or fully outside. If we're drawing the inside surface, we want the half inch added fully outside. Let's take this revolves idea an extra step. We can use a center rectangle instead of corner. Um, oh, there it, I was hoping to dimension the height. It's not here because of the perpendicular. It's just not a constraint that makes sense to me. It's not how I think of defining the square. So this time, a full 360 degrees is clearly a revolve. We're going to change that into something less. Okay? Our revolve doesn't need to be 360 degrees. We have options of going one way or the other, or also symmetric. Okay. So with this quarter piece of a washer, we can pattern it four times around the center line to complete the washer. If we use an axial pattern, which is appropriate here, however, we need a center line that exists in time before the revolve. Okay. Easiest way to do this, go back in time before the revolve, and at the intersection of the right and front planes, okay, let's create an axis. And now if we come back after the revolve, 
there's an axis at the intersection of the right plane and the front plane. So if we select the revolve, we can pattern many types of patterns available, but we'll use axial pattern or an axis pattern. And we'll do a 90 degree pattern because we revolved it 90 degrees. Four patterns. And a bit odd look here, but when we go to our default view, we have the full washer. That wraps up What Away With Washers, Revolve Edition.